of content. What's going on? What's happening, my block buddies? And welcome to a brand new episode of Block Content. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. So guys, Super Mario Odyssey is this crazy, amazing, huge game, and I've completed the game. I don't really have all the moons just yet. It's such a big journey, this thing. However, I am led to believe through a lot of content in this game that there are things they are definitely holding back for us. I mean, a lot of people had the same idea about Breath of the Wild when it launched. You know, there are tiny things in there that make you think, why isn't this included in the game? You know, any reference to Super Mario Sunshine, you know, it's just not there. You know, there's a lot of Super Mario 64 in there, and that's absolutely great. I mean, there are spoilers up ahead for those who don't want spoilers on Mario Odyssey because we're going to talk about some post-game stuff as well. Well, if you're still here, yeah, there's a lot of Super Mario 64 in the game. I mean, the entire Mushroom Kingdom is beautiful. The the castle is modeled after 64. There are a lot of Easter eggs in there. Even Yoshi on the roof. Even, you know, inside of the castle, looking up at the ceiling, getting a moon for that. Lots of cool stuff that, you know, gives you kind of chills and warm feelings. But it also leaves you a sour taste in your mouth when you think about, you know, Super Mario Sunshine did a whole lot for that franchise. It gave the Super Mario games kind of more heart, right? Kind of more lightheartedness and a lot more goofiness, a lot more creativity. You know, they gave Bowser a voice. They introduced, you know, Shadow Mario. They introduced Bowser Jr. They did a whole lot of things right. Um, and to a lot of players, they did a whole lot of things wrong in Super Mario Sunshine as well. But I do think that it... It's still weird that there's not really anything included from that game in Super Mario Odyssey. Now, what I do think is that they are deliberately, you know, not talking about a lot of things and not including things in the game. And there's one big revelation that I've had in the past days, which is definitely one missing enemy in this game. And it's not... It's not Magic Koopa or comic, you know? It's not Shy Guys, it's not those Monty Moles or anything, no. Those could all lead to really great Cappy transformations. I mean, just thinking about Monty Mole and just, you know, traveling underground and having all these, you know, underground areas, that's really exciting to me. And even being a Magic Koopa and just, you know, throwing around spells and capturing, you know, uh, you know, and putting spells on different enemies or blocks to get, like, random stuff out of, that could have been really cool, but to me, one thing is really missing from the game, and that's booze. It's just these straight up ghosts from the Super Mario franchise. Where are the booze? I mean, we even have in the Mushroom Kingdom, we even have this awesome challenge when you get the final costumes in the game. One of them is Super Mario 64 outfit, you know, the classic, you know, blocky polygonal outfit, you know, the, the look, the Super Mario 64 look, and it's awesome. Uh, I'm playing through uh, a lot of post-game content in that costume. I'm actually doing those boss rushes as that costume. It's a lot of fun and really hard too. Um, and that makes you think, you know, that whole area where you had to dress as 64 Mario, you know, behind that hidden hat door, where you're in the courtyard of Princess Peach's castle. And you see all these, you know, secrets you can get. But there's one thing missing that was really, really prevalent in that courtyard. And it's really weird that they chose to include that courtyard in the game, even though the one thing that really makes sense to be there are the booze. I mean, that's what was in the courtyard. The courtyard is haunted. That's what I always thought was really cool. You know, we have the fountain, we have the L is real, 2014 or whatever. Um, and we, we have all those kind of cool secrets, but we don't have the booze. And that's really weird for a game that celebrates Mario in such a grand way. It celebrates its characters in such a grand way. I mean, we even get to play as charging Chucks in the game. You know, they bring back a whole lot of enemies. They bring back Pauline even. You you know, from, you know, wherever she's been hiding for the past years, you know, the, the Donkey Kong, the Mario versus Donkey Kong games, I guess. Um, but it's so weird that they wouldn't include booze. And I think that that goes paired with another character that we're missing. And I think I'm just going to let him do the talking. Oh, I don't really know if I'm going to say something on the block, the content. No, no, Luigi, you, you can just say it. I mean, we're here in a safe space. You can just say what's on your mind. I, I wish I was included in Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, no. L Luigi, you still here? Yes. Luigi, Luigi, it's going to be okay. I think you're going to be fine. I think you're going to be included in something really cool. Oh, something really cool? Wahoo! Yeah. 
Um, but not just yet. <laughs> I think you gotta wait a little bit, Luigi, because I think we've got something on the horizon, which is not this year, but probably next year, or the, you know, you know, somewhere in the next year, I think that Nintendo will announce, hey, Super Mario Odyssey has been doing great, and we're gonna do some DLC. I don't think that this will be a sequel. I think that they've got the engine, they've got the fan base. Every single person <laughs> that has a Switch is going to buy Super Mario Odyssey. So it doesn't really make sense to, you know, knock out a sequel that will, you know, probably, well, you know, Super Mario Galaxy 2 did really great, but I think that DLC for this would be great. Think about the combination of Luigi missing in the game and Boo's missing in the game. <laughs> Just think of that and remember that these two have a very, very special link together because Luigi's Mansion was a thing. And when I think of the history of the Mario franchise, I do think of Luigi's Mansion as a big, big part of that history. I mean, think about the possibility of Luigi's Mansion in Super Mario Odyssey, something like that. We don't have any big indoor areas, you know, there are, there are tiny bits of that in Mario Odyssey, but it's more about the open world. And that would change up a whole lot. Just having that mansion, having a lot of, you know, ghosts to capture would be great. You know, Luigi not having a vacuum cleaner, but just throwing his cap and capturing ghosts. And, you know, being the ghosts, phasing through walls, scaring, you know, maybe people that live in the house to, you know, get some coins or maybe some, you know, power moons. I mean, we had Dark Moon, now we have Power Dark Moon or something. I mean, there's so many links that could make this really, really great and very, very interesting. I mean, there's a lot of other characters that are missing. Just think of, think about Wario and Waluigi. They could maybe potentially show up to be the Crazy Cap store owners in that universe because they are, of course, yellow and purple, like the colors of Crazy Cap. I mean, there are a lot of great characters from the Luigi's Mansion era, and they've retconned a whole lot of stuff in Luigi's Mansion too, uh, but the original ghosts from the first one that came from the paintings, um, they always had a lot of personality for me. And I think that even the whole idea that we have paintings again in a mainline Mario game, thanks to Super Mario Odyssey, not just the paintings that morph you to a different, you know, a different uh, place, a different kingdom inside Odyssey, but also paintings that warp you to a boss. They programmed that stuff in, so I, I would be surprised if they couldn't do that whole painting mechanic that was in Luigi's Mansion with the ghosts. So thinking about everything like this, I really want to hear from you guys. Do you think that there's a possibility that we'll have some Luigi's Mansion content for Mario Odyssey? I do think that, you know, the boos are missing and a whole lot of people will be happy when they return and Luigi's missing and, you know, it's not Mario is missing, it's now Luigi is missing. Where is he? He's not anywhere to be found in this game. Uh, data miners have not yet, uh, you know, said anything about, you know, hidden content, Luigi, but, you know, Luigi's outfit is there, and Luigi's is nowhere to be seen or talked about. I know one of the creators actually did an AMA, and he basically confirmed that there's some sort of connection to Luigi there, but it's not in this game, not, not until now. People have gotten all of the moons in the game, 999, and there's no Luigi, no post-content, kind of Luigi playthrough, hard mode, there's nothing there. But, I do think that there is a big possibility for Luigi's Mansion to have some sort of DLC content for Super Mario Odyssey. So I really want to know what you guys think about this. Uh, if you comment down below, your comment could be featured in our next video. And today's comment question is, yeah, where do you think Luigi is in Super Mario Odyssey? And as for the previous comment question, our answer comes to us from a great user that has been commenting on a lot of videos named Philip Minjares, saying, I prefer robust DLC in a few packs like Zelda, rather than a new game. Odyssey era isn't going to be over yet, the game just came out. Let's just pretend this world in this game. I'd, I'd be down for some post-game DLC. Again, like Champion's Ballad, there maybe Peach decides to accompany you on a journey to a new kingdom. Tropical Kingdom with Delfino? Haunted Kingdom, where we'd be looking for a lost Luigi? Well, well isn't that what this video is about? Awesome. How about Sarasaland to visit Daisy? Maybe Wario and Waluigi are giving her trouble. Pretty simple plot points to give us three new areas, and the characters we've already been asking to see. They don't all have to be playable, but I think it would be cool to see Daisy in her castle as an NPC. If they can do it for Pauline, they can do it for Daisy, Wario, and Waluigi. I'd love Peach, 
Daisy and Captain Toad as playable. So, Philip Majaris, thank you so much for your great comment. And I do agree. Uh, I mean, this whole video was kind of about that. So, thank you so much for sending in your comments, everybody. These are always a lot of fun to do. Remember that there is a giveaway. You can win this Super Mario Odyssey pixel art t-shirt. I mean, we're giving it away when we hit 6K, 6,000 subscribers. And all that you got to do is just subscribe to this channel tell a friend about block content and you know comment down below why you would rock this t-shirt and remember you know you can be the comment question winner so if you want to appear in our next video like philip manjaris uh if you have an original funny or informative answer for this video's question just subscribe to the channel just hit that bell so you can get the notification block notification squad and leave a comment on this video you can also support block content on my patreon at the end of this video so you can help decide what i'll make a video about next just you know even one dollar would make the biggest difference in what blocked content will be and remember that if you're not yet a member of the blocked content family don't worry because you can just click that subscribe button all the news and fun that you care about will be delivered daily to you mario odyssey may have been released but we are not at all yet done to talk about this game and there's a lot of cool content for another game that's being announced very soon that we're going to talk about so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you around the corner where there's always more blocked content uh, thank you for watching uh, uh, goodbye oh, oh thanks luigi